What's up everyone, Titanium Tuckle here today going to show you my entire J figure collection. Let's go! So this right here are all my J figures right here. These are all the extra figures and right here these are all the um, the new unique figures and back there are the extras. And we're going to take a closer look at all of these figures and give you know some brief thoughts on each and single one. Now, do keep in mind that I do not own every single uh, J figure, but we're gonna first start off with these figures right here. We've got the, we've got the original J figure. We've got the Kendo J, and then we got the ZX J. Three awesome figures, really, really awesome. I remember when these first released, I thought these were evil versions of ninjas that came from an alternate universe. I know, pretty crazy, but. <laughs> Jay was actually my first very my very first ZX and that's what I thought when I first got him. He wasn't actually Jay but like an alternate Jay. And I actually swapped out his um his gray arm for a metallic silver arm just cuz it's a little bit more accurate. Each one has the same face print and in some of these you'll see that I've actually changed the face print. As you can see right here uh, Jay is supposed to have this face print, but I swapped it out for the newer version of his face print. And then on the back, Ninja never really had any back printing when they first came out. Jay is not going to have any back printing on this figure either, but he does have the Kendo armor. But this Jay actually does have some back printing. And this is the first time we see the ninja with back printing. And I gotta say, I really like it. It's really awesome. And I'm glad that they continued with back printing on the ninja. Now with these three out of the way, on to the next three. So these are the next three J's we're gonna look at. Uh, we've got the young ZX form, the kimono form, and the rebooted. Uh, this one is literally the same thing as the previous one, the ZX, just with... Um, Short legs, and you can't actually get you can't get this one in any sets. This is just custom made, and as you can see right here, this is what I was talking about. How Jay has the gray arm, just the light gray arm, and I exchanged that for a metallic arm. So that's what it originally looked like. Sorry, but I've changed it up, and so forth. So this is a custom figure, the kimono figure. I just added armor to it. You originally could not get these with armor. You had to maybe take it off another ninja and put it on. But in the show they had armor, so I just added armor on this one. And this figure is really cool. In fact, my favorite suits are the ones that have like the black primary with their blue with their um, primary colors on it. I really like it. Back printing on this is really good. Awesome back print, and as you can see again, I've swapped out his original face for a newer version of it. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. So that's Kimono J, and it's gotta be like in my top three figures, uh, for uh, top three J figures. And then here we got the Techno Blade J, or a rebooted J with uh, no gloves, cause for like four episodes in the, in the season of rebooted, they didn't have any gloves. So I decided to have two versions of the rebooted, one with gloves, as you can see right here, and one without gloves, as you can see right here. Not much of a difference between the two, it's just different gloves. And here is the back of Jay. Again, really amazing prints. The prints on the backs, and on, in general, the prints on the figures just get better and better throughout the years. But overall, these three figures also very good. Next up, we got the rebooted um, with the stone, um, the stone. I can't even the stone armor. Uh, rebooted, not rebooted. Uh, Tournament of Elements version one and Tournament of Elements version two. I really like these suits. I like all the suits to be honest. There's not one that I dis well except for the movie versions, but I like. I like these suits. Uh, I like the metallicness on this on these suits. I like the symbols on these suits, and I just like this suit in general. Um, half of these have the new version, the newer version of Jay's face. 
let's take a look at the black black bleh, back print on this way the only problem with this figure is that the the print his symbol on his back doesn't really line up come on focus doesn't really line up with the with the circle back here so as you can see it's like a little it's a bit offset and that's the only issue with this figure to be honest but other than that it's still a really good figure this figure again really nice i actually i'm a big fan of the half masks too glad to see the hair pieces in the actual sets we don't really see them that often but here is the back of this figure as well really cool i like how they rock their symbols on the back unlike this j he rocks the symbol on the front as well as his other symbol up here Let's see if i can focus on that j there we go and on the back printing it's just got some straps really cool detailing and everything three awesome figures three awesome j's give them all thumbs up now these next three figures are part of probably what i think are the best uh j figures in all of ninjago history <laughs> uh for starters like i said i really do like the black primary with their primary color i just really i really like it um for whatever reason skybound doesn't do it as well as the kimono suits or the possession suits but still really cool nonetheless and then probably the best figure in all of ninjago i'm not gonna lie is this uh the future j i just really love this figure for many reasons especially like the arm printing on this figure and the side leg printing on this figure it's just so good this figure is probably my favorite and uh yes zane is my favorite but this figure just takes the cake for ninjago figures uh the printing on this is just so good really good uh unfortunate that it did not come with two different faces it would have been cool to see an alternate face and here we see the back of his torso again really good but enough of this jay let's take a look at the other jays this jay is also really good these two share the same leg printing uh oops come on they share the same leg printing but they don't share the same torso print or the same back prints either so let's just take a quick look at these from the back very cool and similar to this one these two are kind of similar in a way but not really nonetheless all cool i like the purple highlights in this one really cool to see that i dig it a lot and just to quickly show off the second variant of this figure it's just this one right here with an eye patch really cool and this one does come with an alternate face although i would have rather much preferred that this came with an alternate um eye patch expression but it's all right this alternate face is also still good and i'm kind of disappointed that they didn't go all the way with the eye patch but it's okay we'll see the eye patch eventually in the future as you can see as you can see right here next up we have the day of the departed hands of time and casual movie j and i gotta say day of the departed suits are probably one of my favorite suit lines in general just because it's a touch of classic with you know modern ninjago and it's i just really like these the day of the departed suits they're probably my favorite like suit line to like just see them all together it's just probably the best i don't know but that's just me hands of time is also really nice i like the black arms the things yeah uh, really nice uh i like the new scarf piece that was introduced with this figure really cool hair piece is really nice nice facial expression could have had a second face but that's all right like printing on these all of them pretty good solid uh all of them have back printing as well i believe as you can see there right here and actually jay does not this jay does not have any back printing but still cool these two he rocks the symbol on the back jay doesn't have that extra symbol but he has like these two solder uh solder hold sword holders but are covered up with these sword holders not bad not bad at all 
great figures and I really like this new or not new because this was this mask mold was introduced in possession but I really like this variant a lot as well funnily enough like I said that my favorite suits are the ones with black primary but yet my favorite suit line are the day of the departed ones I don't know that's kind of weird but now that we've looked at these figures let's look at the next three figures so now we have reached these three figures we've got the movie J we got the Sons of Garment on J and the Hunted J. Three really good figures. Well, minus this one. I'm not the biggest fan of any of the movie uh, suit designs, except for maybe Lloyd's and Cole's. Those are probably the two good ones that stand out. But overall, they're just not really good designs. And the Sons of Garment on suits took those suits and brought them up to the next level and just made them better, essentially. But not the best suits here. Really good suits on onward. Um, although I do like the touch of orange here and there. But still, you know, not the biggest fan. Orange is mainly for Cole, you know. But here's the back printing for this J right here. And the new J face print right here. I'm also not the biggest fan of the half, the, the two-piece mask. Because they can get a little tricky to take off or like use so this is jay's new expression that we'll get to see basically forever now here's his back one again this suit is just awesome and this suit's basically this suit sorry this suit is basically this suit but with you know a bunch of added stuff because you know they they went to the first realm uh there are, these two face prints are the exact same one as that face print so nothing new there but we're going to take a look at the back prints for these two again really really cool now some inconsistencies i see here is that jay's white symbol back here is not there so as you can see he's got white there but not white there i mean it's something that should stay consistent even though they're now in this more battle damaged suits it's still the same suit and I doubt the white would fade out on them but that's just a small nitpick right there doesn't really change much it's still a really good suit these two are really good and I also like how they added sandals to these variations as opposed to these ones very interesting but cool nonetheless next up the next figures we have are legacy J some um, secrets of forbidden spinjitsu J and the Spinjitzu Slam J, all really good figures. And just another variation of this figure that I do not have up here in the unique figures is the um, Forbidden Spinjitzu J right here with his mask that has the Forbidden Spinjitzu. But I mean, it's just a different mask and not that big of a deal. But all really good figures. Th these two use the same mask, except J has now a symbol on him. Really cool. Legacy suits, I really like them. They're really cool. Whoa, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Really cool back printing. I like how the dragon follows through all the way. So you see him on the back and then he just pops up in, in the front as well right here. I like how there's that, you know, like that continuous dragon. Really cool figure. Uh, Forbidden Spinjitzu J, not the best figure. I mean, it's a it's a cool figure. It's really cool. Really uses the same leg, pr um, printing as this one right here. Same torso, but just with added like energy, with metallic arms. Here's the back. You get to see more of that energy bursting out. That's why it's called. Oh, this isn't. Did I say this is Spinjitzu Burst? Or did I say it's Forbidden Spinjitzu? It's the, this is the Forbidden Spinjitzu. There's no Spinjitzu Burst J. And then here we have the back of this J. Really cool as well. And then I, I just to show off, this J also has a new face print right here. With that energy bursting out. And then we just got a nice smiley J right here. Nice smile. Now here we are with the final three J figures 
excluding the new season 13 figures i don't have any of those yet but this is what i have currently these are the latest three new ones digi j um avatar j and then tournament of elements leo cj all really amazing figures i love all of these right here so we're going to start off with this figure as you can see right here i what i did was i cut off this this part right here i thought it was too bulky for the figure and didn't really do much for me so what i did was cut it off and to be honest i like how it turned out i really do uh, the printing on these are just amazing really good printing on these i really like it i like the detail on the back and for a second i thought these were guitars back here like the head of guitars but someone pointed out that these are actually just jets and that actually makes more sense than guitars but guitar would also make sense because you know jay's avatar jay you know superstar rock and jay and these this jay did come with a new face print as you can see that's his face print with a visor on and this a new smiley face print and these masks are also pretty cool they got the symbol on them cool all around and then we have superstar rock and jay which only which actually has two face prints actually you know a yellow J right here really cool really cool and then uh, another J right here really good face prints I'm not gonna lie as well as really good torso prints the blue on this could have been sorry the blue on this could have been saturated a bit more out but overall it's still really good the print on this I just like all the little triangles on this figure it's really awesome and this figure uses the same legs as this figure which isn't that bad but I mean they could have gone with at least a little bit more uniqueness on this figure but not bad at all back printing again really cool as you can see he's got his guitar and a white hair piece Jay's hair piece but in white which is really cool and then we've got the legacy Tournament of Lemons J, another really good figure, same face print as the previous J's from the movie and stuff. They messed up here on the band. It was supposed to say Master, you know, like Master of Lightning, stuff like that, but just Master, but they messed up and they actually put Manter. Uh, they fixed that with the new Legacy Lloyd that's coming out, but hopefully we get a fixed version of this one too. And Cole because we don't want this saying Manter, but obviously little kids won't really notice unless they know the Ninjago language. And then we've got their symbol back here, really good. Just really good prints all around. And that my friends are all my J figures. That is every single J figure I have and my thoughts on those figures. Overall, really good figures and yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a like subscribe, comment, share this video with a friend, and I'll see you all in the next one. Taco out!